Hi, this is Karen and I'm with inspiredbygram.com and today I'm bringing you episode 12 of my 2019 craft fair series and today we're going to be making stocking stuffers for dogs. So they look like this. I've packaged up five dog bones here and created a nice little topper here in a clear bag and on the back side is my information. So we'll go over all of this and the products that we'll need to create the package. So let's go over the um, the paper we'll be using. So I chose um, to use the Dyna Roar Designer Series paper only because, it, not because of the dinosaurs of course, but because I love the paper here. Um, it's bright and cheerful and I know when you're going by somebody's booth, something's got to catch their eyes. So I know tropical stuff catches my eyes. So I went for this theme. I also have some done, um, pre already done, and I'll show you at the end, um, some Christmas ones as well, but I thought this was kind of nice. I've also chose the old olive um, foil paper from the Noble Peacock foil sheets, and it matches nice. And also we're using old, old olive cardstock um, and some, let's see, um, soft suede cardstock as well. All right, so let's create the topper first. I've got a piece of old olive cardstock. This is cut four and three quarters by three, and I've scored it at one and a half. So somewhere I've got my bone folder. I used to. <laughs> I don't know where it is. Oh, there it is. Hold on just a second. All right, got my bone folder here, and we're just going to give a nice little burnish here. And this designer series paper is cut four and a half by one and a quarter inches. So all you need to do is just run some adhesive on the top and the bottom of it, and then just adhere it to the front here and a quarter of an inch border on all four sides. Now let's open this up and we're gonna be concentrating on the back. So I've got a my ink color we only need one color of ink and i chose a brown and this is early espresso and i'm just stamping down the stampin up copy right logo because i'm inviting by the angel policy and we'll call that good and let me just move that ink around here so let me just bring in one of the packages of dog bones i've already pre-packaged these i was able to get 30 um, packages um, out of one five pound box of dog bones. So that was that was awesome because the early cost me like six dollars and maybe less than fifty six dollars and fifty cents less than to purchase that box because they were on sale and they're they're actually um, grain free peanut butter flavored dog bones. So sound good. If I guess if you're a dog, right? <laughs> All right, so I found with the bags that I use, they're a little, this piece is just a little bit too long. So I'm just gonna take my scissors real quick and I'm just going to cut that off, just so it's out of the way. All right, so we've got that on there. So now let's talk about the information label that I have on the back side here. So I always put these on the products that I make. So, and I try to make a theme of it um, depending on the product that I'm making. So uh, Avery.com has lots of templates, over thousands of them that you can pick and choose from. And it's super simple to make. Um, so I put my name here, my website, and my email address. And again, here's the angel policy. And also I wrote on the back side of the, the topper, the expiration date of the dog bones because it's food, um, and I highly recommend that you do this because if you, you're left over at the end of your craft fair season and you wanna know when these expire, you'll, you'll have that information. So let's do that on this one here, and I'm just gonna put it over here right next to the Stampin' Up! logo, and so expired six, two of 21. So that's covered. Now let me bring in the labels. Here's my sheet of labels. You can see I've used almost all of them for this project. And just simply peel that off and I'm gonna put it right over top of that, the back side of that staple and just give it a nice little press there so it lays down flat, okay? So that's looking pretty good. So now let's focus on creating this here and the dog with a little um, punched out heart. So we are going to use the Starburst Punch and the two inch 
circle punch. Now I know in my other craft fair series, I do use these. I love to use punches just because it's super quick and fast, um, especially when you're punching out and you're, and you're um, actually mass producing a lot. So um, that's something that I highly suggest that you do. Now I've already punched out a bunch of two inch circle punches just because um, I just do it, um, I take one big piece of eight and a half by 11 cardstock and I just punch a bunch of them um, when I'm using the photopolymer stamps because it goes um, a lot faster to do it that way. So I've already pre-punched a bunch of these with, a two, again, the two inch circle punch. And we will need a piercing mat to um, stamp our sentiment here because we're using the photopolymer stamp set. And I've got my old olive ink. We only really need one ink. And I chose a brown because the, dog is, the dog's going to be brown. So there's our stamp um, that says friends forever. And let's see, where did my, okay, there's my starburst, old olive starburst circle. So we're just going to adhere this two inch circle onto the starburst, super easy. And I flip it over and I press from the back side just in case that ink is wet and I don't want to smear it. And then we'll add more adhesive. Actually, we've got to be careful because we don't want it on the top, which I just did. So I'll use my um, eraser to um, remove some of that. And I love this eraser. Stampin' Up! doesn't sell them anymore, but you can find them on Amazon. I bought this one like maybe four years ago and it, it works really nicely to remove um, your adhesive if you get it in the wrong spot. Okay, so we don't want any on the top because that's going to be going above your tag there. So no need to put that there. So I'm just gonna add a little bit below where I just erased it. Bring in my topper and we're going to put this over that staple here so that's covered up. All right, just give it a nice press. And now we're going to stamp the dog. And to do that, I have used soft suede cardstock. And let me bring in the stamp set we're using. We are using Happy Tails stamp set from Stampin' Up. We're gonna be using the dog here. And we'll be using this here, the dots here, this or the spots that are gonna go on the dog. And we used Friends Forever, but a lot of these sentiments here will go with this project. And we'll just ink up the stamp, and we're just gonna stamp them down. And when you're stamping, make sure you do, you do your dogs up like this because it'll be so much easier to stamp or punch out um, when you're ready to punch them out. All right, so now we're gonna add the little spots. Now this is a little bit harder to line up. Hopefully I can do this on camera. And if I go outside the lines, that's okay, because which I did a little bit, but that's okay, because we're gonna be punching them out anyway. All right, so let's bring in the dog builder punch. It looks like this, and it has a dog and a heart there. So we're just going to simply punch him out. I'm looking at the tail and his nose and his, um, his feet up there, paws. And there's a little heart here, so you can save that for later because we're going to be punching out um, some red glimmer paper for the heart. And we'll set that aside and you can use that for another project. All right, we're almost done. Let's see. So what we'll need to do is we'll need to add um, the heart onto the dog, so I've already actually done a bunch of these here, um, but I'm just using a glue dot, simple. And then I'll just put them right there. Now you can either put a dimensional on the back side of him to give him some dimension, or you can, let me just show you, if you don't have dimensionals and you wanna just adhere them down, you can just simply use your adhesive. And we're going to be covering up this other staple so no one will ever know it's there if you're looking on the front side. And then just give it a nice little press and it looks just as good either with or without a dimensional. So I think we've got it done there. So, um, and this one I used a one and three quarter inch um, circle punch, 
but since you can't purchase that one from Stampin' Up! anymore, I've chosen to show you the two inch circle punch that works nicely with the starburst um, circle as well. So now let me, um, we've gone over how to assemble, how I packaged, and um, how I'm going to price. So a lot of my stocking stuffers that I sell at craft fairs are sold um, $2 or three for five. So I'm going to try that. And like I said, I've never sold these before. So I'm really not sure if they will sell at that price or not, but we're going to give it a try. And, you know, I've got until June 2nd of 2021 to sell these. So I'm not like um, nervous about it or anything like that and how I'm going to display them. So let me show you, I've got to make some room here because I know a lot of people want to know how we display. So I have purchased these like clear boxes. Um, they actually go for your refrigerator. They, they're for like cans or fruit and they sit in the refrigerator, but I got them at TJ Maxx, super cheap. Um, so that's how I'm going to display them. And I've just mixed in, I don't even know if you can see this or not, it's hard to do this on a desk with the camera, um, but I'll show you some of them that I have made. So again, here's the tropical paper, and here's some other paper that I've kind of put together with a different color of um, foil paper there. And some of the Christmas ones, I had some retired, um, Retired designer series paper from Stampin' Up! that I've had in my stash, so I'm just using that. Um, and it looks looks kind of festive there. You could, if you wanted to, you could put a, some kind of fancy bow on it, but you know what? I'm just gonna go wing it and see how these sell. And here's kind of, kind of like a pink one for a girl dog. So hopefully um, I've encouraged you to um, try this pro um, project and that you're enjoying my craft fair series. Um, until next time, I hope you um, craft today and enjoy your day. Thanks for watching.